Absolutely. I'll tell you another one worth keeping an eye on. That's 10 5A Division One In the greater Houston area, Manville got an early lesson in non-district play from Shadow Creek, but the Mavericks had bounced back, and Fulcher's Chargers had been really, really solid. So a district title on the line as these two teams would get together down in Iowa Colony in our Jack in a Box game spotlight early on in this one for the Mavericks or for the uh, Chargers. It is Parker Williams taking it in. It's six nothing point after no good, but the Mavericks come right back. Caden Smith with a 46 yard rumble to the end zone. It is seven to six Manville. Now in the fourth quarter, can they take back the lead? Joey Mahoney with the field goal, 9-7. Now 23 seconds to go. Here's Manville trying to match it. Chase Cross for the win. And it just was left. He couldn't do it. Fulcher wins a close one. Chargers with a 9-7 win over the Mandel Mavericks what in route to winning Earth? District 10 5A Division 1. Huge win there for Fulcher and uh, a big time win. And our Shelby Coppage there with the recap. Fulcher, a team who averages nearly 65 points per game, took the win over Manville tonight with just nine points. The weather elements were a huge factor in the first half for both teams trying to find success. Man, those kids came into play. Uh, the weather was really big in the first quarter for both teams. Uh, the idea was control the game. Uh, we ran the ball. Offensive line really came through. Uh, Parker, but defensively, man, those kids stepped up, and I couldn't be more proud of them. The Wildcats experienced adversity after being tested by Manville's stout defense. Defensively, they're unbelievable. Uh, that's the best defense I've seen all year. Now, those safeties were great. They do a great job. Coach Hall's a phenomenal coach. And, man, I'll be honest with you, that's, that's a good defense. Fulcher quarterback Parker Williams said even while his team struggled offensively, they trusted their game plan and stuck together. I mean, I, I trust them with everything. It so, it's makes, makes life so easy that I know I can give it to any guy on the field and they can go 80 yards and score. After the game, Nick Caduti told his team, we control our own destiny. If his team wins against Richmond Foster next week, they'll be in good position to win district.